birds. It was beyond anything I could have expected. Mm -hmm. It was great. It was unbelievable at times, too. <laughs> well, talk about that first game when you got the opportunity to come up to bat and uh, you hit a bomb on the first one and, yeah. and backed it up a couple, <laughs> uh, couple innings later, right? Yeah, back to back. I don't think I saw that coming, but it was... I mean, I just started hitting. I didn't practice hitting any in the fall, and I'd only been hitting for like three weeks, like at practice. And coach was like, "Well, we're gonna throw you in there." I was like, "Okay, let's go." And I got up there and I hit a home run, and I was like, "Okay, that was cool. I don't think I can do that again." And I get back up there, and I'm like, "Okay, this isn't too bad. Like, this isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's not that hard." Well, talk about your work ethic. You got a reputation, I think, down at Auburn for being a hard worker. <laughs> To talk about that and how that's played into you working yourself into a starting role at Auburn. Well, waking up at 4.30 every morning, you're kind of forced to be a hard worker. They get you going, and I mean, you have to love every second of it to want to stay there because they push you to your limits and they expect more out of you than you can give, and that's how you get better. Well, talk about playing in the SEC, how tough it is. It's one of the hardest conferences out there there's nothing that i could compare it to i mean it's it's like playing team usa every game i mean they're always going to be that good mm -hmm. now uh, auburn advanced to the first round of the ncaa's talk about that experience getting to go to minnesota well i remember sitting at our team banquet and we were watching the selection show and we were thinking, okay, we're either going to end up playing in Arizona State or we're going to end up in Minnesota. And I was thinking, I've never been to Minnesota. And oh, sure enough, they called out our name and we're going to Minneapolis. Okay. So we get on the plane and we get out there and it's freezing when it's like 100 degrees in Auburn. We didn't know what we were going to do, but we found a way to get through it. Well, you talk about uh, you know getting up at 4.30 in the morning and start working out. Uh, talk about the academic load versus the demands of an athlete uh, in the SEC or any college. There's no downtime. You've got to, I mean, you go, you probably take four or five classes each semester, and you've got to have them all done before 2 o'clock so you can practice. So you're in class from 8 to 2 or 9 to 2, and you've got study hours that you have to get with tutors. and. It's really demanding, but they really make sure you stay on top of your academics and get the grades that you need. Talk about the facilities at Auburn. I, mean, I figure they're pretty top-notch, aren't oh, they? Oh, yeah. They definitely are. They're, I mean, we have like a world-class weight room. I mean, our locker rooms and our shower rooms even, they're top-notch. They're, I mean, they're perfect. What advice would you give uh, a prospective a student athlete coming up through the ranks to get ready for that next level? I would tell them to stay on top of their grades and get their name out there. Just talk to people, talk to coaches, email them, call them. They love that kind of stuff. They may seem busy, but they love it when you make an effort to talk to them. It shows them that you care.